Well, once again, it's in the news. Doing something while black in America. You know, in 2018, there was a lot of incidents called on, on blacks uh, in America while doing something harmless, like the young lady that was sleeping in the dorm who was uh, actually enrolled in the college. Um, there was uh, people that was uh, shopping for clothes, uh, leaving an Airbnb, touring the college campus, uh, golfing, sitting in the Starbucks, and the list goes on and on and on. And I honestly think cops are getting tired of this. People calling on black people for doing nothing at all. Namely, white people calling on blacks for really doing nothing at all, which is minding their own business. It comes a time where you have to just ask yourself, what the hell are these people thinking? I don't get it. Um, it's really stupidity. And I mean, all we're trying to do is just live our life the same way that uh, white America is trying to live theirs. You know, uh, you know, the American dream, things of that nature. So. What's trending now is a teller, <laughs> a teller calls the police on a black man for thinking that his paycheck was too high. I mean, come on now. We done bridged the gap big time. Blacks are making a lot of money these days. So to even call the police on someone uh, because the check is too high, especially if it's an official check, and the black guy showed two forms of ID cards, also gave a fingerprint because he wasn't really a, uh, a customer of the bank. But uh, she still called the cops on. So the story, <laughs> it happens in Cleveland, a bank uh, teller called the cops on um, a black guy because they allegedly believe his paycheck was too high and fraudulent. OK, so Paul McCowns claimed that while he was trying to cash his first paycheck from his job at an electric company, he was racially profiled by a teller at the Huntington Bank who refused to cash his check. You know, that's just as worse as uh, Taylor Swift trying to get her first, I think, first award. And when Kanye West came on the stage and did that bull crap, um, said that bull crap that, you know, about Beyonce being the best artists out there. He kind of ruined um, Taylor Swift first ever award. So this is, uh, in my opinion, this is about the same equivalency, although on a smaller scale, it's the same equivalency. This is this guy's very first paycheck and he can't cash it because some teller thought that <laughs> this black man had a fraudulent check. So she went behind his back, tried to call the employer uh, an employer never answered the phone. And then when he left the bank, I guess through frustration, he went to his car and the police officers approached him and handcuffed him and arrested him. And once they verified that he, um, uh, through his boss, or that yes, he works there and yes, that's his doggone check and it is accurate, then they went ahead and released him. But the damage was already done. The damage was done from the bank. I mean, at some point, you have to think to yourself, why? Why would you do some dumb stuff like that? Why? why? I, don't, I don't get it. Uh, you know, why Why on earth would you do this if the check looks pretty, you know, uh, legitimate? And yeah, there are people out there. I know you got that 10% of, of people that like scamming and like doing things on like that. Yeah, I understand that. And, and the bank do have to take certain precautions. But this, this young man gave them two forms of IDs and a fingerprint to cash a check. Now, I don't think a criminal would want to give his fingerprints up, right? That should be the biggest doggone thing right there. Like, hey, this guy's telling the truth. He's giving his fingerprints up. OK, and not to mention the two forms of IDs. So here's the, here's the thing right here. When 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 he went outside, you know, the news asked him, did he know the police was called on him? He said, no, I didn't, I didn't know the police was called on me. And then a bank representative apologized for the teller's behavior. Um, 
explaining that because of 11 cases of fraud in recent months, their employees were being hypervigilant. I mean, really, when you say 11 cases, the fact is most banks got hundreds of thousands of people that comes through there every single doggone year. And you send 11 cases of fraud. What is the percentage of that? Did you do that? Did you think about that? What is the percentage of the fact that this right here was going to be a fraudulent check? OK. And like I said, the the um, the damage was already done. I, I, I would never go back in that that bank. And I think, you know, because of bad PR, the bank did apologize. So I have to give them that credit. They did apologize and they did accept responsibility for contacting police as well as our own interactions with Mr. Mc, Mr. McCrown. Anyone who walks into the Huntington, this is what the bank said, anyone who walks into the Huntington branch should feel welcome. Regret, regrettably, this did not occur in this instance, and we are very sorry. Again, the damage is done, man. You you know, <laughs> you, you know, I always like saying that you drop the gun before you jump through the window. That's what you did in this right here case. You had one chance. It's always like that. Your first impression, you have one chance to make the right impression. Now, every time uh, Paul M M McCown uh, uh, drive by this bank, he, in his mind, he ain't going to never do that no more. So you probably lost out on a future customer. Uh, it may, he might have changed his bank over. You never know. Just depends on how much you guys took care of him. And obviously, y'all screwed this right here up big time. OK, and it's just it is just ridiculous that this stuff is happening, uh, still happening in America. There's so many doing something while black in America uh, that's been played out and is really getting old, really, really old. So, hey, I just want to comment on that because this is trending right now. Um, so it's just another one. Just got to add to the doggone. Um, uh, I guess to the uh, to the dictionary of uh, trying to cash a check while black, a legitimate check while black in America. Well, anyway, folks, if you like the content that I'm bringing you, hey, subscribe. I'm trying to grow this platform. Um, I got a few subscribers, a lot of uh, and comment. Please, please comment. Uh, let's let's talk about this. Let's see uh, how many doggone doing something while black comments that we can get. On, on this right here actual segment. Hey, and if you like this video, go ahead and hit like for me. And uh, I'm trying to get a hundred likes for this video. So, hey, and don't forget to hit the bell, you know, the alert, because there will be more videos coming your way. Thank you for watching this, and I'll see you on the next video.